What's up, a bunch of savages? I'm about to head out to uh, go do some Ubering and uh, check out this gas uh, shortage situation. Come along with me and see what's up. about a quarter of a tank so uh, I'm gonna have to find some fuel if I'm gonna drive. Uh, we already saw the gas prices go up as soon as the uh, Hurricane Harvey started doing its thing. So we'll see where we are. Yep, bags are over the regular handles. Looks like the diesel side as well. Yep, it's true. Holy mackerel. All right, let's go over and check out uh, the Murphy at the to do with Walmart. There's like a whole line of cars coming down from that way, and this is a small town, and normally don't see this kind of. Look at that! Look at all these. There must be gas at that place. There must be gas at that one because there are all those cars. Look at that! Holy mackerel! I've never seen that many cars waiting for gas. Oh. This may be a little bit of a disaster. <laughs> Yikes. Well, there's a lot of people in line there, so it looks like there must be some. Just these line of cars waiting to go in. This never happens. Go into the next town and see if I can get some fuel there. Doing another pass to check the same gas station, and nope, I don't think I will be stopping there. But I'm going into the next town, which is more populated, and it might be worse. All right, I'm exiting the freeway in the next town. I'm looking up ahead, the QT is saying 249. That probably lets me know that they do have fuel for now because they're starting to gouge a bit. And I just noticed just across the freeway, it's 231 at the TA. Oh wow, yeah, it looks like holy mackerel. I've never seen that many cars at the QT. There's, looks like all the pumps are taken up. And people waiting behind, yeah, so they do have fuel. But I'm thinking about going across to see if the TA, with their 231, if they have, if they have any. If it has fuel at 231, then I'll do better than 249. But I probably need to face facts and quit worrying about price and just get it where I can get it kind of thing. But it is definitely a little bit crazy. Things are getting crazy right now. Over here at the TA where it's 231, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and hop in. If there, if there is fuel, I'm going to go and just get behind some people. And, that's right there. Let me have a look. Uh, there are people at the pumps. But uh, I was thinking about looking at this racetrack first and see if they have fuel. Because it might be. I'm still trying to get cheaper, you know, which I probably shouldn't worry about. It could also end up being the case like a lot of these places where the unleaded is out, but uh, there is um, this, the premium and uh, the mid grade or whatever. All right, TA at 231. Let's see what it looks like. They're, looks like they're all taken for sure, but I could back in there. Woohoo! I found fuel. All right, let's fill up. All right, I was able to. I was able to get the 87 octane, the 231. So that's good news. So uh, yeah, I don't know how long this is going to continue, man. I couldn't imagine it going for you know too long, like multiple weeks or something. But we'll see. Thanks a lot, Harvey. Much better. I'm watching one of my favorite vloggers. Um, they're Disney vloggers. They're called Ears to You, and um, it's um, the dude in there. His name is Brockford, and um, he always do vlogs with his girlfriend Promise. And and uh, I think I'm seeing my influence in their vlogs just just a tad because I'm quite sure that a long time ago when I first found them, well, not really when I first found them, but. Uh, I said it would be cool if, I think I remember messaging him and saying, hey, if you ever do some vlogs that don't have promise in them, like if she's at work or gone or something, you should call them the Brockford Files. 
and that's what he's calling it now the Brockford files and I thought I remember him saying that that was clever instead of him saying hey I've thought of that already so that might be my influence in his vlogs that's pretty cool I like it I thought I'd kick off this week with another Brockford files Brockford files number two Brockford files forever and ever you might not get the Brockford files reference if you're if you're a youngster but it came from a TV show uh, well there was a TV show called the Rockford files so there you are and it was back in the 70s I think I'm, I'm in Dallas now I've seen look at this this is a 7-eleven and this is the line of cars of people waiting to get fuel there's quick trip and how heavy that is these people are moving over to get in line oh. I dropped a lady off at the airport today whenever I got out and got her luggage out for her. I said, uh, you have a safe flight. She said, you too. Brian Regan would be proud. You ever do this? You ever like say a phrase that you say all the time, like at the wrong time, and feel like a complete idiot? You know, something like, you too. <laughs> I was getting out of a cab at the airport and the driver goes, hey, uh, have a nice flight. You too. <laughs> you too, you have a nice flight too. In case you ever fly someday. Don't anybody look at me, I'm a moron. Alright, I sat in the airport queue for a while, but it's uh, barely moving, so I'm going to get out of the area. And let's take a look at the uh, QT when we go by. 249 seems to be what everybody's boosted their prices up to from, you know, it's been 209, 215, 219. Pretty full, there's cars trying to get in there. A line of cars right there. Okay, line of cars right here. And then there's a gas station here with cars pulling in. Oh my gosh. It's insane. I'm gonna go straight here, but it's insane. There is a racetrack up there that's at 249, and there's all these cars waiting to get down there. No way. Blocking traffic. The traffic is also being. Um, bottlenecked into one lane because of construction so that made it even worse. Check out these bears, they're doing some horrible thing. What is that? What are those bears doing? I don't know where they're going but they're barely gonna make it. <laughs> See that traffic there? That is a line waiting for a gas station that's over to my left. I'm actually gonna have to either go straight or turn right just to get away from the gas station right there it's a Chevron and there's traffic coming from this way and then traffic coming from the left here to get in I'm gonna try to go here and then go around so I can have a look at it from that angle okay so this Chevron I was just at pointing at showing you I was over on that side of it kind of thing here's the traffic trying to get in there so I was just down that street and there's people waiting there, and then there's people waiting here as well. Crazy times. There's a there's a Valero over here that's still at 229. There is gas here because people are pulling in. I don't understand why there's not a terrible line. Well, I guess maybe the line is actually in the uh, parking lot over there. But uh, a lot of the places I'm seeing are gouging to 250 and 260, or 249 and 259. That one's 229. Yeah, there's still. Oh wow, plenty of people in here in the parking lot waiting. This Fox is completely out. It just says zero, zero, zero for all their prices up on the sign. So they're completely out at the Fox. You can always tell there's a gas station up ahead whenever you see a long line of cars. It looks like they're parked. So this shell here is at 260 some odd. And there's the cars and here's the line of cars waiting that's the end of the line right there holy mackerel what a mess there's another nice mess you've gotten me into if this keeps up if this keeps up we may have less cars on the road so traffic will get a little better soon but I could be one of I could be one of them without fuel sitting at home no way to work. I'm not. I just saw, I didn't have a chance to get the camera out to show it, but uh, in Garland I just saw two gas stations pretty close to each other that didn't have 
many people waiting, and they, one of them had the price shot up to two eighty nine. The uh, place where I got gas this morning it was two thirty one, and now it's two fifty one. Here's a Tiger Mart. Looks like they actually got a shipment of fuel today because this morning it was the one that was out. That Tiger Mart, when I just showed you that there was gas again after not being in any this morning, that was 20 minutes ago maybe, and it's back to no gas again. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, I had a friend just post on Facebook that he saw it over by Love Field where I was earlier today for $4 a gallon, so that's the worst I've seen. We'll see how bad this gets. Hopefully not much more, and it doesn't last for much longer, but... That's all I'm gonna show, that's it. I've had enough of this gas crap. I've got gas. I'll see y'all later. Good luck with getting fuel and y'all stay savage. No, Jane says so y'all stay savage. And y'all stay savage. Yay! Thanks for watching Savage Mr. Like, subscribe, and share, and send money.